Hi everybody, today I will show you product category page design WooCommerce tutorial. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And here what I need to do, I have to search for product X. Okay, so I have already installed and activated this plugin. So after activating this, what we need to do, we have to go inside the product X. So this is the dashboard of the product X and you have to enable the Woo Builder here and after this you have to go inside the Woo Builder and now you can see that we have all the templates here. We have the template for the home page, single page, shop page, cart, checkout and you can also see the other options here as well. So right now the thing is we need to design the shop category page. Okay, so I'm going to simply go here into the shop. And as you can see this, we have these templates, but unfortunately, all of these templates are basically for the pro version of this plugin. So we need to design our page from the scratch. Okay, so let's just click on the start from scratch. All right, so I'm going to simply remove the template from here. And now what we need to do, we have to add the blocks here. Okay, so let's just click on add here. And now you'll be able to see the elements here or the blocks. Okay, so now you can see this, we have the WooCommerce block by the product X. So we simply have to use these blocks here. All right, so the first thing that I would like to hear is basically the product slider. Okay, so let's just click here. And you can see this, we're going to have some templates here. And if you want to create this from the scratch, you can also do it. But right now, we're going to simply use the template. So I'm going to simply import this one. And now let's just go back. And now you can see this, we have our slider here. Okay, so now the theme of our shop is basically a kind of greenish theme. So we need to change the background color here of our slider. Okay, so now you can see here in the sidebar, we have the general settings. So I can change the layout of our slider here. So if I just click here, you can see this, we can change the layout of our slider here. But I think we're going to go here with the default option. All right, so after this, we have the option of the height and also you can do the slide animation as well. So we basically have the fade animation and the default value. Okay, so we're gonna simply go here with the default value. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to change the background color. So we have to scroll down. We have to click on the background and here click on the solid and then we're gonna go here with the green color. Okay, so this is looking better. And now we need to change the border color here. So let's click here on the border and this would be a kind of greenish color too. So let's just have, okay, so this is looking better. So now what we need to do, I think the design of the slider is good. I just need to change the color of add to card here. So for that, I'm going to go inside the add to card option. And here you can see this, we have the option of the quantity plus minus and the button. So we have to change the color of the button here. So we're going to simply click on the button. And here I need to change the background color. So that would be basically the green color this one and i also need to add the color on the hover effect as well okay so let's just click on the hover and click on the hover background so this would be this color and we need to change the text color as well so this is going to be the dark green color here so now i just hover over add to cart okay so i think i would need to change the text color here so this can be a kind of this color maybe Okay, so this is looking better or we can go here with the dark color. Okay, so this is looking fine now. Okay, so one more thing that I need to do here is to change the color of plus and minus. Okay, so for that I will need to click on plus minus. And here what I need to do, I need to change the background color first. So this will be the dark green color. And I can change the icon color as well. So this can be this color as well. Or we can go here with the white color too. But I'm going to go here with this light greenish color okay so now this is looking better so in a similar way we can do the customization on the sales arrow and the dot okay so now what we need to do we have to add a new block here so let's click here i would basically like to add the product category okay so let's just add this and we're gonna have some templates here so we only have the two templates here so i'm gonna go here with this one this is looking perfect all right so this is our product categories all right, so the first thing that we need to do is to change the color of this text here, change the background color of this. And you can see here that in the general settings, we have the product view. 
so we can convert this into the grid view as well if you wanted to okay after this we have the slide to show so i can change the number here so i would actually like to go here with three different types or the categories and you can change the column gap as well and you also have the auto play option so if you want to disable this you can simply do it from here all right so we have the product sort so if you want to change the product sorting in your product category you can simply do it from here and after this what we need to do we have this large image arrow so i'm going to simply disable this and i would like to add the dots here okay so these are looking better and what i need to do i have to change the color of these sorts okay so the background color would be basically this color and i need to change the active color too so this would be the dark green color okay so now this is looking better and now we have the heading so if i just go inside the heading you can see this i can change the text of the heading from here i can add the heading url i can change the alignment of this and we also have the heading style so if you want to change this you can simply do it from here but i would basically like to change the background color of this so this will be the dark green color and in the text color it will be a simply so let's just click here okay so i think i will go here with the white color that would look better yeah that is looking better all right so now we also have the content style so in the content style we have the width we have the height we also have the vertical position and the horizontal position but basically these are the part of the pro version so we can't use this okay so if you wanted to change the background color of this we're gonna simply click here and if i just click here i can see this we have changed the background color okay so i think i would go here with this color as well okay so this is looking better and now i don't need to change the text color all right so we have changed the background color of the content okay and after this we have the image we have the title we have the count we also have the short description so if i just click on the count now you will be able to see the number of products we have in that particular category okay so this is looking better so let's click on the short description all right so i think this doesn't look really great here so we're going to simply disable this and we also have the read more option so if you want to enable this you can simply do it but right now i won't be doing this okay so one thing that i need to do here i need to add the spacing here so how can we do this we're going to simply go to the top here and click on the advanced settings and i'll simply unlock the margin values here so i'm going to add 100 from here okay so now this is looking better now we have our product categories okay all right so now what i need to do i would like to add the product grid here okay so let's click here and i would actually go here with the product grid first all right so you can see here that we have these five different templates so i'm going to simply use this one so you can simply choose any one of your choice but right now i'm going to simply use this one okay so what i need to do i'm going to simply remove the feature and add the products only okay so now what i need to do i would actually like to customize the heading here so let's click here to the heading and i would change the background color so this would be the dark green color as per our theme of the shop and after this what we need to do i would like to align this into the center okay so now this is looking better all right so now you can see here in the settings we have the different layouts of our product card so let's just try out each one of these layouts so let's click on the second one okay on the third one on the fourth one okay so i think i actually like this one so i simply pick this one from here now you can see this we have our buttons here and now what i need to do i would actually like to remove this category thing here into the image okay so the first thing that i would like to do here is to remove this category right so how can we do this I'm going to simply disable this category from here. So now you can see the category here. Okay. And I would like to enable the pagination. So let's just enable this. Let's just customize this first. Okay. So here in the pagination tab, you can see this. We can have the pagination. And along with this, we can also have the load more. So now basically it's up on you. Whatever you want to choose here. But right now I'm going to go here with the pagination. And I would put this into the center okay so now i will need to change the color here so this would be a light green color and in the background color we're gonna have our theme color so that is basically this color and i think i would go here with the white color and we would also need to add the hover color so let's go here 
and install it. I'll just simply go here with this light green color and in the text color this would be the dark green color okay so now when i just move my cursor over the pagination now you can see this we are having this our color as well okay so this is looking great okay so now you can see here that we have the filters so if you want to add the filter you can simply do it and you can see this now we are having the filter at the top of our products so if i just click here into the customization you can see this we have these different options but right now i'm going to simply disable the filter and what i need to do i would actually go inside the image so in the image we have the different options here so you can simply change the width of the image you can change the height of the image you can change the scale of the image if you want to and we also have this box shadow and the radius so if you want to change these values you can simply do it from here okay so right now i just simply like to go here with the default value okay and we also have the cell but right now we don't have any product on the cell we also have this short description we have reviews and the price so now let's just see what we can do here okay i would like to go here in the content wrap okay so in the content wrap so let's click here and change the color here okay so i would like to add this color here all right so now what i want to do i actually want to put the text into the center okay so so for that we need to go inside the journal settings so let's just go here click on the journal settings and we have to put the text into the center okay so this is it and now this is looking better okay and we can also sort the elements as per we want to okay so we can simply do it from here as well all right so i think this looks better so there is one thing that i need to do here i have to go inside the advanced settings i have to unlock the padding and I would like to add the padding at the bottom. So this would be 30 maybe. Yeah, this is looking better. And now what I need to do, I have to publish our shop page. Click on publish. All right, so now we need to go back into the dashboard. And from here, let's just click on the visit store. And now you will be able to see that we have our product slider. We have the product categories. And after this, we have our products. And after this, we have the pagination. And this is looking really great here. So this is how you can design the shop category page or the shop page in the WordPress. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.